welcome all children today we are going to learn one more important system in human this system releases out several kinds of waste released in our body in our body various metabolic activities takes place which release several waste these waste which are produced in the body should be sent out from the body time to time if these materials are present in the body for long time they may become poisonous or toxic the process of removal of metabolic waste produced in the body from time to time is called excretion multicellular organisms they have specialized organs for the process of excretion in humans if you observe they have a well developed excretory system and excretory organs are present there are several organs which excrete various waste like gaseous waste nitrogenous waste excess salts excessive vitamins pigments which are formed by the rupture of or breakdown of uh, red blood cells even water also as water vapor from lungs kidneys skin liver etc out of all these wastes nitrogenous wastes are very toxic these wastes are excreted through kidneys the system which excrete these nitrogenous wastes is called the excretory system and contains the organs a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters urinary bladder and urethra how these nitrogenous wastes are produced when we intake food which contains proteins these proteins present in the food they are bro broken down and are released as ammonia urea and uric acid this urea and uric acid they are removed by the kidneys now we'll see the structure of excretory system in human body the reddish brown bean shaped structures located on the back side of the body left and right to the backbone above the waist are called kidneys these structures filter the nitrogenous waste from blood and remove them as urine a pair of ureters are present in humans these tubes like structures which are narrow start from kidneys and open into urinary bladder are called ureters these ureters are 30 cm in length the ureters carry urine from kidney to urinary bladder the movement of urine in the ureter is in the form of wave or it occurs due to peristaltic movement and reach the urinary bladder the ureters open into a median pear shaped pouch like structure which is called as urinary bladder this urinary bladder is located in the lower abdominal region just below the stomach this is a muscular structure which stores urine temporarily until it sends out from the body The storage capacity of urinary bladder is 300 to 800 ml but it varies from males to females. Urinary bladder opens into urethra. The tube like opening at the bottom of urinary bladder which takes or passes out the urine is called urethra. Urethra is 4 cm long in females, 20 cm long in males now we'll see the structure of kidney if we observe the cross section of kidney or internal structure of kidney the outer zone is dark in color and is called cortex and the inner zone is pale in color and called as medulla each kidney contains more than 1 million thin microscopic tubules like filtering units which are called as nephrons or uniferous tubules each kidney it is it is associated with a renal artery and renal vein 
the renal artery brings the blood into the kidney now we'll see the structure of nephron nephron is the functional unit of kidney where the filtration of blood actually takes place each nephron has two main parts malpighian body and renal tubule malpighian body is further divided into two parts bowman's capsule and glomerulus the description of this malpighian body the cup shaped broader end of nephron is called bowman's capsule and bunch of fine blood capillaries which are present inside this bowman's capsule are called as glomerulus together these two structures are called as malpighian body which extends into renal tube or urinary tubule the urinary tubules of nephrons in each kidney join to form ureter the renal tubule has three main parts first or proximal convoluted tubule which is called as generally pct second or distal convoluted tubule commonly as dct it is called as and a u shaped loop of henle now coming to the function of nephron and how urine is formed here is the nephron filters the blood and removes waste from it the formation of urine has four stages filtration which occurs in glomerulus after the filtration in glomerulus the blood enters into the renal tubule where reabsorption takes place so it is called as renal tubular reabsorption secretion third step and the urine is passed out which is called as excretion the first step filtration the renal artery brings the blood which contains waste to the kidney the blood then enters glomerulus with high pressure water and solutes are filtered in bowman's capsule from there the blood enters into the tubular region where reabsorption takes place the filtrate passes through the walls of glomerulus and bowman's capsule and leads into renal tubule as the blood passes through it water and other useful substances are reabsorbed by the blood capillaries of renal tubule next step secretion the remaining liquid along with waste like urea uric acid some salts ions which is called as urine gets collected into urinary bladder through urethra excretion like this the urine the urine which is formed is stored in urinary bladder and leaves the body through urethra after the filling up of urinary bladder the urine passes out of the body through urethra urine is a transparent yellowish fluid its normal composition is 95% of water other constituents of urea chloride sodium potassium creatinine and other dissolved ions inorganic and organic compounds along with the nitrogenous waste some other waste are also released in our body these wastes are excreted by different organs extra salts they are excreted mainly through kidneys and sweat glands sweat glands they excrete salts and urea and uh, some other metabolic waste as sweat rbc which are destroyed after 120 days life span in liver and spleen they are released as bile pigments called bilirubin and biliverdin which are excreted as urine in some portion and remaining some in feces liver converts toxic ammonia produced in cells into urea and is released out of the body through kidneys excess vitamins like water soluble vitamins which are present in excess amount they are released from the body through urine 
gaseous waste like carbon dioxide and even water in the form of water vapor they are excreted during the process of respiration through lungs most of the water it is excreted in the form of urine and sweat so along with kidneys organs like lungs large intestine skin liver they also act as excretory organs in humans i hope all of you understood the topic well thank you all